The next group of fish families we will be discussing are the odd-shaped bottom dwellers. The first family is Antenaridae, or frogfish. These have a globular body with a large mouth containing teeth. They also have a small antenna above the eyes. The second family in this group is Dactylopteridae, or gurnards. These have wing-like pectoral fins, which they use to glide over the bottom. And the last family we will discuss is Platycephalidae, the flatheads. These have a long, dorsally compressed head and body. The first family, Antenaridae, are small globular fishes with loose prickly skin, limb-like fins, a very large upward-directed mouth, and a first dorsal spine which is highly modified into a movable fishing rod. They are generally 10 centimeters in length, although size varies significantly, and they can be found on or near reefs. Their diet consists of fish, which they catch using their modified dorsal fin. The spine, or antenna, is wriggled above the mouth to attract other fishes before ambushing the prey and swallowing them whole. These are solitary fish and are extremely well camouflaged, often adorned with fleshy or filamentous appendages. The first species we will discuss is Antenarius indicus. While colors are variable, these generally are smooth-bodied with not many frills. The second species is Antenarius pictus. These are also generally smooth-skinned and have varying spots covering the body, making them look like a sponge. Here is another Antenarius pictus, in which you can see the spots clearly. Next up is Antenarius cocineus. These have variable color patterns but are highly camouflaged, utilizing a variety of patterns and colors. And lastly, we have Histriohistrio. These have large fins and many frills covering the body. Colors again are variable, however these tend to be brighter and with distinct patterns over the body. The next family we will go into is Dactylopteridae, or gurnards. These are commonly called flying gurnards because they have wing-like pectoral fins which they spread and glide over the bottom. Around 20 centimeters in length, they can be found on sand and rubble bottoms, hunting for small fish. They are a solitary species and are usually brown with dark patterns. The only Dactylopteridae species we will review is Dactylopterna orientalis. These are a light brown color with black spotting over the body and wings with dark brown and blue patches. The last family in this group are the Platycephalidae, or flatheads. These are elongate, compressed fishes with two dorsal fins and tassels around the mouth. Generally found at a length of 50 centimeters, they live on sand, often partially buried, where they feed on crustaceans and small fish. They are a solitary species and are heavily camouflaged for ambush feeding. The first species in this family is Thysinopris chiltonae. These have distinct brown vertical bars over the body, a dark band across the eyes, and speckling over the head. The next species is Sorsogona prionota. These are similar to the previous species, however the banding over the body isn't as clear. They lack the dark band over the eyes and have very little speckling around the head. Lastly, we have Papilosuliceps longiceps. These are very large flatheads with elongated mouths. This species is heavily camouflaged and has small frills around the head area. They also have a dark first dorsal fin. Quiz time! We have a small overview to test your knowledge of the odd-shaped bottom-dwelling fish families. Can you tell the difference between Antenaridae, or frogfish, Dactylopteridae, or gurnards, and Platycephalidae, or flatheads? Pause the video to see how you do. Are you ready? Remember that Antenaridae, or frogfish, have large globular bodies and are very heavily camouflaged. Dactylopteridae, or flying gurnards, have large pectoral fins which they use to glide over the bottom. And Platycephalidae, or crocodile fish, are very long and compressed. Thanks for watching. Check out the next video to continue your fish identification.